everyone, it's Monday and we're back again for another quick instalment. So, over the weekend we headed down to the Sea Lion building. Now I had the slightly crazy idea that I wanted to try and shoot some animal portraits slightly more in a kind of studio style. So we caught up with the sea lion keepers and they suggested Arthur, one of the sea lions, would be an ideal candidate to try this out. So Ellie, the sea lion keeper, uh, had been working with Arthur for a couple of days just to try and get him in the zone for this. And with a little bit of help from Janet and a couple of other people, we were able to take down a small kind of mobile studio setup. We were using the um, Elencrom, ELB 500 uh, portable battery powered kit which was awesome for this, um, lightweight, quick to set up, um, very fast recharge times, that kind of stuff, so that was perfect. Um, we managed to get Arthur in his normal position and doing normal stuff, so technically we had the shot fairly well bottomed out we thought. The plan was really to do a kind of black background picture, so we had the camera set up uh, manually, uh, balancing the exposure out and then just lighting Arthur with a bit of a, a top light soft box and a little bit of front light just to give him a nice kind of moody look. Now my initial thought was I was going to do a, a black and white treatment for this, kind of a Hollywood 1940s kind of look, but actually when we looked at the results the colour in the sea lines was also really nice, so actually I think I prefer the colour result to the black and white. Just as a bit of a kind of icing on the cake, Ellie had also been working on training Arthur to wear a Trilby hat. So knowing that we were looking for this kind of 1940s Hollywood look, we also managed to get Arthur wearing a Trilby. So it was an interesting session, interesting session um, from the photography point of view, quite technical, I guess, balancing the flash with daylight and pushing the ambient light down and synchronizing and all that kind of stuff and if anyone's got any questions on any of those kind of bits and bobs then just ask us I'll be very happy to chat through exactly how we did it I was um, using again the uh, EOS R really liking this new uh, 24 240 zoom it was kind of ideal for this because I just didn't know how far away I was going to be how much uh, Arthur was going to be moving and just the versatility worked uh, super well. So any technical questions do let us know. So for our next challenge, we headed down to see the tapirs on the equatorial trail. And with the help of the keepers, we wanted to reproduce what we did with the capybaras, but with the tapirs, and from the other side of the enclosure. So um, Alex from the keeping staff very nicely headed out with us and was trying to call them across to us with some um, enticing food. Um, they did swim across to us, so that was really good. The tapirs are obviously substantially bigger than the, the capybaras, so that made things a little bit easier and we were shooting into the light this time rather than having backlit shots that we had with the capybaras. Um, we did only actually manage to get one of the tapirs across, but that was enough to give us some, some footage and some nice pictures. That's about it again for another episode. We should be back again on Wednesday. Now, if anyone's got any thoughts on what you'd like to see, particularly on the photography side of things, any questions, that kind of stuff, we are, we'd love to hear that. Love to be able to help you out with some of those kind of bits. Um, hope everyone is safe and well at home and look forward to seeing you all again on Wednesday. When hopefully we'll have some exciting news about some upcoming events. See you then. Bye.